she used to be a legendary actress. Now, she works nine to five. Celebrities are just like the rest of us. Well, except for the million dollars. But in the case of these celebrities, they're just like the rest of us because they work a nine to five job. Whether they're done with acting for good or just for a while, all the actors and actresses on this list have chosen to get a normal job instead. Even though the acting world is very glamorous, there's a lot of uncertainty, especially if you aren't a well-known name like Brad Pitt or Meryl Streep. At least if you have a 9-to-5 job, whether it's at McDonald's or something more lucrative, you know you'll get paid every two weeks. Even though the pay is much lower, the best thing about having a normal job is that you no longer have to deal with the stress of Hollywood and the dangers of show business. Without further ado, here are the celebrities who used to be famous, but now have regular jobs like the rest of us. Eric Estrada Chips was his last show. Right now, reserve police officer. Value, $4 million. Eric Estrada was born in New York City's East Harlem neighborhood. Carmen, his mother, made clothes. Estrada always knew he wanted to be an actor when he was young, but he didn't get a start until he was cast in The Cross and The Switchblade in 1970. I think we're alone now, 80s pop star fame. As of now, the owner of a clothing store has a net worth of $4 million. Tiffany was a famous teen singer in the 1980s, and her song, I Think We're Alone Now, was her most famous song. Tiffany also sang I Saw Him Standing There, which was a cover of I Saw Her Standing There by The Beatles, but with different lyrics. I think we're alone now, said Tiffany, singer, 1987. Tiffany's single went to number one on the Billboard charts and was used in an old Apple commercial. Tiffany's kept singing, but now her main job is running a small clothing store that she owns and runs herself. She also goes to small places like coffee shops and festivals, often to promote her clothing business by using her 80s fame. Freddie Prince Jr. used to be on the show, she's all that. Net worth, $19 million. Famous for movies like I Know What You Did Last Summer, where he met his future wife, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prince Jr. is still in show business, but now he works as a producer for WWE instead of in front of the camera. From 2008 to 2009, he worked for the WWE. He wrote about how he felt about the matches on his blog and made content for WWE's media outlets. When that was over, Freddie went into a completely different field. He and his wife started the food company Foodsters. Charlie Corsmo. What about Bob was where he used to be? Right now, the net worth of a law professor is $500,000. Charlie Corsmo was a famous child actor who was in the Disney comedy What About Bob? After that, he decided he wanted to work in a more academic field, but he still sometimes shows up in movies. The last time was in 1998 when he played William Lichter in the movie Can't Hardly Wait. Corsmo chose to go into law school and leave his days at Disney behind. In the year 2000, he went to MIT and got his first degree in physics. He went to Yale Law School for six years and then got his JD. He worked for the EPA and ran for office. He teaches corporations and corporate finance law at Case Western Reserve, where he's a law professor. Gina Davis, Thelma and Louise. At the moment, documentarian, worth $30 million. Gina Davis used to be a model and actress. In 1982, she got her start when she was in the movie Tootsie. Then she was in a thriller called The Fly, which was her big break. Her role in the movie Beetlejuice made her famous all over the world. She kept acting, but in the 1990s, her career slowed down. Fans might remember that Disney made a short-lived talk show with her called The Gina Davis Show. Davis left Disney and then went into business and directing. She started the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media, which is her own group. Her institute works to get more women in front of and behind the camera in the media. Davis also used her business connections to help pay for a documentary called This Changes Everything, which came out in 2018. Angus T. Jones Two and a half men was where he used to be. Management at a media company right now worth $15 million. Two and a half men was the show where Angus T. Jones was best known for his work. He got his first acting job when he was five years old. He was in the 1999 movie Simpatico. The 26-year-old has also been in movies like The Rookie, George of the Jungle 2, Bringing Down the House, Sea Spot Run, and The Christmas Blessing. Jones decided to go into the private sector after he said he was retiring. 
However, you can still watch Two and a Half Men and his other works on Amazon and Hulu. He works for Tonight, a company that finances and makes different kinds of communication services. Macaulay Culkin used to be in Home Alone. Currently, the website Bunny Ears is run by a company worth $15 million. As a child, Macaulay Culkin was known for his role in the Home Alone movies. In 1991, he was also in the coming-of-age movie My Girl. In 1993, he was in The Good Son. The next year, he was in Getting Even with Dad. At the height of his career, he was one of the most successful child actors of all time. Today, Culkin owns and runs the satirical site Bunny Ears, which makes content and promotes other sites, including more than a few memorable collaborations with Red Letter Media. His funny tweets on Twitter are also a big hit with his fans. Saviano Josh The Wonder Years At the moment, a lawyer worth $500,000. Josh Saviano is another actor who is now a lawyer. The Wonder Years was a sitcom that ran from 1988 to 1993. Paul was played by a man from New York. After the show ended, he stopped acting, but he did come back to TV to play a lawyer in a few episodes of Law & Order SVU. After his time at NBC, Saviano went to Yale, where he majored in political science. He was the head of the Sigma Nu frat there. He worked as a paralegal after high school and then went to Cardozo School of Law to get his JD in the year 2000. He joined a law firm, and 15 years later, he started his own law firm. Taryn Noah Smith Used to be in home improvement. At the moment, owns a vegan food business and works as the tech manager for Community Submersibles. Worth $300,000. Mark was played by Taryn Noah Smith in the show Home Improvement. Home Improvement was one of the most popular shows of the 1990s. Tim Allen made more than a million dollars per episode while he was on the show. When that was over, Smith stopped acting. In an interview, he said that he didn't want to act. Owned company, Play Food, which made cheese that didn't come from cows. Play Food hasn't really taken off yet, and you can't buy it at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Smith's a vegan, and he's opened up the same name vegan restaurant. He works as a tech manager for Community Submersibles, a project to teach people how to pilot submarines and teach them about them. Jeffrey Owens was on The Cosby Show. Now he's a director for Brooklyn Shakespeare Company, worth $300,000. In the 1990s, Jeffrey Owens was on The Cosby Show. He was also in Always Sunny in Philadelphia, That's So Raven, Lucifer, and other shows as a guest star. In 2018, the Daily Mail published photos of him working as a cashier at Trader Joe's. This got him a lot of attention. People came to Owens' defense, saying that the entertainment industry was fickle and that Owens shouldn't be ashamed for working at a Whole Foods competitor. Owens was able to get jobs because of the attention, including one on the Tyler Perry Project with 10 episodes. He still acts in small roles, but he's also the artistic director of the Brooklyn Shakespeare Company, which he started. Gene Hackman was in Unforgiven, at the moment is a writer, worth $80 million. Gene Hackman stopped acting after a long career, but he's still writing novels and hasn't said he's going to stop. Over the course of his six-decade career, which began in 1956, the 90-year-old has won two Oscars, a SAG Award, two BAFTAs, and four Golden Globes. After taking a break in 2004, he came back in 2016. In 2017, he gave up his job for good. Now, Hackman writes books. He's written three books about the past, a western, and a thriller about the police. His most recent book is the thriller Pursuit, which came out in 2013. It gets four out of five stars on Amazon. Wake of the Perdido Star, his first book, came out in 1999. George Foreman was the world heavyweight champion twice. At the moment, he works as a boxing analyst for HBO and has a net worth of $340 million. George Foreman, a former boxer, was one of the best fighters in the 60s and 70s. After he lost to boxer Jimmy Young in 1977, he gave up. Foreman became a Christian minister after he had what he later called a religious epiphany in 1994. He went back to boxing. At age 45, he beat Michael Moore, who was only half his age, to get his title back. Before he went back into retirement, that made him the oldest heavyweight boxing champ in history. The patent for the Foreman Grill also belongs to George Foreman. He's now an analyst for HBO in the ring. 
Mara Wilson. She was in Matilda. Now she's a writer and podcaster. Her value is $500,000. Mara Wilson was born in the California city of Burbank in 1987. At age six, she played Natalie in Mrs. Doubtfire, which made her a famous child actor. She was also in Miracle on 34th Street, Matilda, and Thomas and the Magic Railroad. In the year 2000, she was in her last movie. That year, she said she was leaving her job. Wilson is now a writer, a podcaster, and a popular Twitter user. She wrote a play called Sheeple for the New York International Fringe Festival, but now she mostly writes novels. Her book, Where Am I Now?, which was about how famous she was as a child, came out in 2016. Sarah Michelle Gellar was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Currently, she writes cookbooks and owns a business. She's worth $20 million. Sarah Michelle Gellar's first role was in the movie Invasion of Privacy when she was only four years old. A few years later, she got her big break when she played Kendall on All My Children. Then she went on to star in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Geller still acts, but she also has her own lifestyle brand that focuses on food and clothing. In 2014, she made her business official and published her first cookbook, which became a bestseller. Foodsters, which is her brand, is sold at places like Whole Foods and Giant Eagle. 